Hello, this is Sassy Lego Bricks. Um, I'm gonna do the, my second review on YouTube with the uh, Skull Truck, and I'm, this is the first ever one to be posted on YouTube. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I haven't seen anybody else make a stop motion picture or anything like that with the Skull Truck, so um, I got it at my Toys R Us for $79.99. So that works about to like run. 90 bucks or something like that, one after tax, and um, that's Canadian, and uh, before I get on to my review, I'm just going to tell you guys that I will be doing this review and the Skull Motorbike review that I did over again, and also the other reviews I'm about to do, and my stop motion picture a film, because I'm just using iMovie right now, and it's not that good, so uh, yeah, so just look for my reviews. Okay, so let's start. This I got a Lego Ninjago set today. Um, it's a uh, ages eight to fourteen set number two five zero six. Um, it's the Skull Truck, five hundred fifteen pieces. Um, it was a good build. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. Here we have Zane, Jay, the Skull Truck. Um, Lord Garmadon and Whiplash. Those are the four characters we get. Um, just so yeah, there's a few things on the front. Uh, on the side, it just talks about the video game and just another picture of it there and just French stuff. Um, here it shows you get Jay, Zane, Whiplash, and Garmadon. Um, it, I wish I would put one more minifig, or at least one more golden weapon in this set, because it is kind of a low, um, minifig, so. And on the back, it just shows the suspension you get with it, um, the golden nunchucks, the weapon you get, skull truck, um, and there's a little cage, um, cage there. And we have a little picture of the little fish shooter it has. And that's cool. So, and up at the box, we get two instruction manuals. I like that. Um, the, first, the first instruction manual has um, 56 pages and 23 steps. That's cool. And then just some other sets you can get. And... Fire Temple, the spinners in the back, and the other one is, um, 51 pages and 35 steps, that's good amount, and just a picture of a Ninjago 2012, I want to see when that, what kind of Lego stuff there is for that, just shows a dragon head. Now onto the set and minifigures. Okay, so first we'll start off with the minifigures. Um, let's go with the bad guys first. Okay, this is Lord Garmadon. Sorry for the quality, guys. I'm gonna get my camera soon, so he has a little bone up on his head. Uh, nice face. It's really detailed and shiny if you look at it good enough. Um, I don't know if this iMovie focuses or something, but and he has his little staff of lightning here for a weapon. Um, he has a little skeleton rib cage and a purple belt. He is dead, but he is not a skeleton, which I am surprised. And there's no printing on the back of him. I'm kind of bummed out by that because he is a very good minifigure if on the front and a he has a nice samurai helmet with the bone attached to it so yeah there's him and now we go to whiplash he's one of my favorite guys um i want to get knuckle though a lot and he has a little loincloth there the little new skeleton boots they have um and he has the axe it's more of a darker color than the Skull Motorbike review I did. Um, that one's like a bronze. This one's like an older black material on the long bone. 
that skeletons always carry. And he has a straw hat. Very cool. I like the straw hat. I like throwing it with him when I'm just playing around. And uh, he has the bigger skeleton head than normal. I'll show you the comparison. This is the smaller skeleton head compared to the bigger one. It's like an actual skull. That's cool. I like it. And then his head pops off. It's just one big piece. And he has this armor for the bigger headed for the bigger headed uh skull guys and the generals. So that's very cool. I like it how that works. And uh so yeah, now on to Zane. No Jay. Let's do Jay first. Here's Jay, the blue ninja of lightning. I already have two of him and two of the lightning nunchucks, which I wish they had more golden pieces in this set, but they don't. Um yeah, so he has the golden nunchucks. I'm pretty sure you've all seen these before. Um, and then here's J, just a regular J, not the DX version. Little symbol belt, and the symbol is actually a cloud with lightning coming out of it with eyes. I looked it up and stared at it for a while, and that's actually what it is. So there you go. And no printing on the back, just no double printed face, and just the regular ninja hood. Um, now to Zane. He's not too much different. He comes with a brown spear. I like the spear. I normally throw it at them and then deflect it with the little fist thing in the set. Um, then Zane. He is a white ninja. And he has a frozen bear looking face on his symbol. And he also has a blackish gray belt with the regular straps. And there's his face. I don't know if you can see him or not. And just the white ninja hood with the little compartment on the back kind of thing. So yeah, that's all the minifigures. Now let's go on to the skull truck. Uh, there. Um, the skull truck is very, very cool. I have to admit, um, it, it has like these huge, huge wheels. They're the biggest ones I've seen, except for like the Exo Force kind of thing. Um, lots of grip, because I can't even, like, push this truck around. He, there's a skull face on the front, as all the sets have. Um, but there's suspension, so it can, like, chomp up everything like that. And, uh, there, I put the little gold pieces there. I just think it looks a little cooler. Um, nice face there. I'll show you the suspension. Up here we have the engine. Very nice detail, little two little spiky hooks there. I like how they made these engine pipes. They're a pain to make because they're all two little pieces. So there's like 16 little pieces you have to put together for both the sides. Um, big tires. I really like the tires because it's like a really solid set. And you can like, I drove over many villages I made that with this. And it still goes. Um, here we have the exhaust pipe. It's very cool looking. And it has the new Atlantis kind of grippy circular bricks. Um, and the nice flame that all, all the skull vehicles have. And a little bone roll cage here. If you look inside there, there's a steering wheel. And, uh, and then like the little windshield kind of purplish. The theme for this is like purple, white, and black. Those are always the themes. Same on the other side. Over here we have a light. Kind of headlight. Same on the other side. Um, same on the other side for everything. You probably already know that. These are really cool. I'll show you. There's two of them. And they're little prison cells. And they just attach to that nice and loose. And you take the ninja. And you just open that. And you gotta pop his feet right in there so he kind of stays. And then you just push these back down. And then he's like all secured in his little cage. So they can take him back to the dark fortress or whatever of their castle. You kind of set you, store your ninjas or whatever. Nice, nice play feature. I like that. And then, I'll show you the suspension. It works really well. Uh. 
Like, that's, like, a, about an inch or maybe more. Um, I don't know if you can see on my camera or not, but it kind of leans down a lot in the front. Like, I'll lift it up. I don't know if you can see that. But this tire is higher than this tire. I mean, yeah, higher up than this tire. So it kind of has, like, a lean forward look kind of look to it. Yeah, and you can, like, push this and chomp up the ninjas and... Uh, uh, and so, um, so yeah, you can just, like, put a ninja in front, and, oh my gosh, see, and just, like, kind of push that down, and chomp them up, you kind of chomp your way through the ninja field, and same with stuff on the other side, um, there's, like, I don't know, there's a shock there, you can see, that's the suspension they use for this, and then, there's kind of like two little engine holder pieces there to keep all the stuff in exhaust pipes. This looks from the back, driving off. Mm. And then this right here is a printed piece. I like printed pieces because I hate stickers. And this is a nice little feature. Um, I don't know if you can see this very well, but you. I'll show you. Right here close now. You just, there's this little lever here and you just pull that back and let it go and this thing will go just flying and there's little handlebars on them so that when you shoot them you can attach a ninja or whatever you want. So I'll just show you how good this kind of shoots. Um, I don't know if you saw that or not but um, it shoots a fair distance so um, yeah. And then this kind of just hangs in there, two little elastics hold it. Um, there's like a little place where you can grab it from, lift it up and stuff. Um, it's just right in the back where the launcher is. I find that's the best place because that connects to the little pin. And the pin connects to the axle and the wheels and everything like that. Um, on my, the, when I do the good copy of this video, um, I will show anything that I missed since this is on my, only my second review. And, uh, so just tell me stuff that I need to change, and I will try to fit that in there on the good copy review in about four days. This is, um, Sassy Lego Bricks signing off, and be sure to see my next set, which is the, um, which one of you, um, which is going to be a Pharaoh Quest set. I know that's kind of old, but I'm going to do a Pharaoh Quest set next, so, um, Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.